name's Courtney. Welcome to our York, York Home Life Tour of Yoko Hall. Um, I'm a junior here at the University of Arkansas and I'm from Fayetteville, so feel free to ask any questions about the campus or the city. And recording for us today is Channing. I'll let her introduce herself. Hey guys, my name is Channing and I am a senior here on campus. I am a communication major and I am from Springdale, Arkansas. We're both from Northwest Arkansas. So if you have any questions about the area or about campus, this hall, please let us know and we'll be sure to answer those for you guys. Yeah, so let us know where you guys are from too. Because we're both from this area. Yeah. It's interesting. We're see. curious. <laughs> where people are coming from. So before we go in, I'm going to point out just some of the stuff that's around us. That building right there is actually the business college. So if you're a business major, you can just wake up and roll out of bed and cross the street. And you're at that class, so that's nice. And then um, in this direction is actually Founders, which in the bottom of Founders, there's um, some different restaurants for you. So there's Slim, where the Wild Greens are, Rocket Taco. And those are all places that you can use for meal trade at night. So you just go there instead of a dining hall if you want to and use a meal swipe. And you can eat there. And then the closest dining hall is Bruff, which is also just over in that direction. Um, the Greek Theater is over there. The Union's really close. The stadium is just on the other side. But yeah. Oh, there's a Starbucks yeah. over here too. Mm -hmm. Good study spot. Always busy. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's all the big, big yeah. spots. You covered it. There's a lot over here. There's a Club Red too, which is also like... Um, Kind of just like a little convenience store, like a gas station, but minus the gas part. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So for security, we use fobs here, so you just stand and then you're in. And once you move in, everybody will get their own fob. Have the CRE with us today, so you can introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Matt Popwich, and I'm the new CRE for Yoakum this year. Awesome. Um, could you tell us what a CRE is? Absolutely. So, a CRE stands for Coordinator for Residence Education, uh, and I have a lot of daily different tasks, but my main thing is I supervise uh, the RA staff. I help oversee and advise our student groups. Um, I participate in different on campus events and committees to help kind of plan large on campus events. I serve in a duty role for our students when things happen after hours, and just a oh, variety of different things going on. Awesome. Can you come with us today? Absolutely. <laughs> this is also, by the way, where you will get um, your packages. So you'll get an email if you have a package, and then you just come pick it up. Yes. There's always going to be someone there um, if you have any questions or anything. Here we have one of our um, water bottle stations. So if you bring a reusable water bottle, you can just use it here, and then it tells you how many plastic bottles we've saved. One of the common spaces here, very bright, very big, good place for movie nights and watch parties. Yes. And then here's your mailboxes, so you'll um, get an email actually with your code, and then you can come get your mail in here. I think those are going out real soon, so be sure and check your email constantly. Yeah. Share your information. Did we get a question? <laughs> Yeah, we had a question about, <clears throat> excuse me, a room measurement. Okay, for the um, rooms. So. Yeah, so we will be visiting um, a couple of rooms later. Yeah. I don't know why I'm losing my voice right now. <laughs> um, so we'll be sure to answer that when we get into a room. Yeah, okay. we're going to show you some common spaces, and then we'll go look at the rooms. But here's a nice big um, TV area in here. I love how bright it is in here. Mm -hmm. It's very yeah. fun. Is this open 24 hours? Yep. Okay. Yep. The space is open for us, it's 24 hours. And then you said, are there sometimes events in here, or is that mainly downstairs? We're going to uh, vary depending on where the RAs <laughs> want to do it. Um, it's a little bit more visibility up here. Not as many residents are going down to the basement, so yeah. we will use up here a lot. We also use downstairs a lot for our events. Well, we're going to go look downstairs. I like that picture of the razor back there. <laughs> they drew these things. Honestly, yeah. I, I don't know. I think it was a student who did it. Uh, but that That's cool. cool. That predates me, actually. <laughs> That's right, you're a new arrival. I yes. am. I am the new arrival <coughs> this year. I'm the only new coordinator for this year, so it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. And where are you coming from? I am coming from originally from Massachusetts. 
Um, I did my uh, undergrad degree at a small college up there called Endicott College. And I most recently finished my master's degree at the University of Central Florida, Go Knights. <laughs> and I graduated from there in May. Awesome. And is this your office? This will be my office. Um, will be your as, office, we'll, yes. As we're waiting for our new building at Delhi to be finished, uh, mm -hmm. the current coordinator who is it will be going there. He's working out of this office, so I'll be moving into there shortly. Okay. Awesome. So they can find you in there? Absolutely. I'll be there from 9 to 5 every day. Sweet. So we're going to look at the laundry room, mm -hmm. which is right over here. There's some recycling down here, and then all the laundry machines and an ice machine. And then you can see we have these like um, codes on the machines and numbers because we have an app called Laundry Alert, which is super convenient because you don't have to come down here and check and see if anything's available. You can just check on the app. And then once you're using one, you can put in the number that you're using and you will get a notification when your stuff's done. So that makes it a lot easier. And no coins. Everything no coins. is just, if you're a resident, you've already paid for your laundry. Yes. Yeah. And then the TV if you want to hang out in here. Do you have any recommendations on laundry? Do you use powder, pods? Pods liquid? are really easy. I always use pods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're my favorite. Mm -hmm. The easiest route. And always do your laundry at a not very busy time. Mm -hmm. Come when other people are busy. <laughs> That's the best, always. But you can always use the app, so you don't have to really worry about it. And then Here's trash. There's a trash you don't. Is there one on every yes, floor? There's a trash room on every floor. Okay. Um, the one tip I do have is if the trash room gets stuck, which it does often, just come grab one of the RAs. Um, we have a bunch of different hooks on each floor to help kind of poke that out and prod that out. Also, please don't put pizza boxes down the chute. <laughs> it clogs it up really fast. So you have, you have a, a, a thing that helps you yep. make it go every down the chute. We have a hook or a broom handle I, or something. We've got to take a picture of that. So <laughs> it's in here. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. We That's have cool. The hook right in here. So, um, oh, there's a trash hook if you need it. Yeah, well, there's one on every floor in the way. Uh huh. Um, because students don't need a hook all the time. Uh, sure, sure. But yeah, so it's always in there. Come grab one of the RAs, one of the staff, and they'll be happy to help you out with that. Nice. Nice to have a trash seat so you don't have to carry it. Very convenient. Um, Meg is watching, and she is a former Yoakum RA, and she also did her um, graduate degree at UCF. She oh. said, Go Knights. Charge on. Hey, Meg. Pleasure. That's awesome. There's a lot of vending down here, and they actually accept Apple Pay. So if you use Apple Pay, that's awesome. That's convenient. I'm pretty sure you can use your watch for that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Wireless Pay. I've confirmed it once or twice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's dip out and show them the parking lot. Yeah. So this is the parking lot that will be used for moving. See, and the stadium's right over there. So, Humphreys and Yoakum both will come down in this parking lot. And Humphreys, you can see there to the right. And of course, we're in Yoakum, and they'll share this parking lot. And we'll move in, what, about a thousand or more students, right? In the, right in this area in the course of these days. We oftentimes get asked about dollies. We have a few dollies, but we highly recommend that you would bring your own. Yeah. So here is a little kitchen space. Um, a lot of people use these to like make cookies or just like any snacks really, especially if you have like watch parties in one of these big common areas. Yeah. This is awesome to have right here because you can make snacks mm -hmm. for all of your friends. We also have kitchen equipment available for rental upstairs. It's all totally free. You just gotta leave your card and we'll make sure it's all checked out to you. Awesome. Do people use the telephone booths a lot? You know, <laughs> only for, you know, studying. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, actually. Yeah. We I thought about converting them to something really fun. It's just mm -hmm. hard to figure out what. I think, that, I think those are cool. I think it's funny that they're so I think we're getting to the point now where our students don't remember what phone booths were. <laughs> <laughs> So what would this room be used for? So this is another one of our programming spaces. I know one of our student groups, Lead Hogs. Um, if you haven't heard about Lead Hogs, it's a student-led uh, group that does a lot of really great planning for different events on campus. Um, you can get involved with also the Resident Interhall Congress. 
which puts bills forward to get uh, funding to do different events and different programs in the hall. I know one of the things that we did in uh, Yoakum in the past few years is getting a bill put to get all of those uh, water talents put in as another student-led initiative. So we'll do a lot of programming down here, a lot of just hanging out, people relaxing, spending time together, playing pool, using one of our ping pong tables or our foosball table. Fun. Looks like a fun room. Yeah. And I like sure how the chairs have outlets. Very high tech. That's right. If you're plugged in, you can charge things with the yeah with the electric chairs. Those are cool. I know. I love those. I didn't realize that they had that. <laughs> Looks like the bathroom. Well, shall we head up to one of the resident rooms? Yeah. Let's do it. There is one more thing down here. We're just yeah, not going to show you. That's the re uh, the counselor in residence. Um, so one of the benefits we have of being in the open hall is we have some, what's called a counselor in residence. So. What that is, is it's a master's or doctoral level student who is working on their counseling degree and they actually practice out of the residence hall. They're available to our students about 20 to 40 hours a week, depending on what degree they're working on. And so they're always available to our students for just want us to pop in, say hi, or just having some crisis they want to talk through, or just really anything. That's what they're there for. And they're right down that hallway past my office. Yeah. I mean, those first two years, first year especially of college, can be such a transitional time. That yeah. It's good to have someone to talk to sometimes. I can't recommend it enough. They're a great resource just to talk to someone about anything. All right, on the elevator. Now, there, I understand there's some special rules when it comes to elevators during move-in. Yep, so on move-in process to kind of aid what's going on and up and down, um, the elevators are actually only going to be going up um, when it comes to bringing stuff up. If there's a medical need, we're gonna make sure that you have a way to get back down instead of doing the stairs, but to kind of make everyone's process easier, make sure no one's bringing uh, stuff up through the stairs and carrying stuff up. All the elevators are gonna be operated by an RA staff or another staff member. Um, it's all be going brought up to bring your stuff up for you. So, elevator up, unload your stuff, mm -hmm. stairs down. We're helping you get your steps in so you can go get up, go out to dinner that night and just not feel bad about it. Right. <laughs> it is an intense day. Uh, definitely drink all your water that you can. So we are on the 10th floor right now. Yeah, it's very top. Very top. And every room, or not every room, but every floor has one of these rooms. So it's yeah. a study room. It has a nice whiteboard. Um, I know a lot of people like to meet people in their classes and then study in groups. So this would be a really good place to do that. And there's a really awesome view if you can see it. Yeah. But I like this room, it's really bright. Yes, it is. Now we're going to go to a room. And we'll do a bathroom too, to make sure they see that. Can we go in the room first or the bathroom? Let's do the bathroom first. Okay. Yeah. There's one of the bathrooms. There's showers on this side and then stalls on this side. Um, you can show them one of the showers if you want. Yeah. They have doors and this little changing room. Yeah, so that's super nice to have that extra space. Yes, it definitely brings shower caddy. Shower caddy and shower shoes. Yes. I also have a seat over here. Get some cheap flip flops. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. But there's good lighting in here, the big mirrors. Mm -hmm. And there's multiple bathrooms on it. We're going to look at an example of an air chase room. Yes. Pipe chase room. So, did you say there's two of these on every floor? Yep, there'll be two of these on every floor. Um, this is part of the way we cool the building and heat the building. There's pipes running through these walls, and this just happens to be where they put out into the community. Um, so, we understand it is kind of an inconvenience to kind of have the space taken up. So, one of the things we like to help do is we have all the movable furniture. We're in the other rooms. All the furniture is built into the wall, so all the furniture in here is very movable. We also provide a TV, um, which does come with full cable, which I do believe includes HBO. Mm -hmm. um, it does. That would be through Cox uh, Charter, I believe. Um, uh, Cox, Cox Communications. Yep, Cox Communications, and uh, they're actually going to be giving a bunch of information on that stuff at move-in day, and there's other stuff going on. So, uh, two floors on each, two rooms on each floor would have this TV and this type of furniture set up in here. Gotcha. And if you're wondering what floors they are, you can go to housing.uark.edu and look at Yoakum, and the there's three digits to every room. The final two digits will tell you, like on each floor, which room it is. Mm -hmm. 
Nicole was wondering how the floors are separated for boys and girls. So there can be a male floor or a female floor, um, or if we need to, they're split uh, half and half, one side and one side, but they're gonna be mostly uh, single sex per floor. Awesome, and Aaron was also wondering if the rooms have adjustable thermostats. So Yoakum is one of those buildings where um, the thermostat's not totally adjustable. Um, you can't switch from heat to AC on your own. Um, what we do is uh, part of the pipe chase system is we will do a complete switch all at once um, from heat to AC and from AC to heat. Uh, so that's usually sometime in October we'll switch over to heat um, and sometimes towards closer to spring break we'll switch back exactly. over. Okay. So be prepared that on an unseasonable weather day this the help this building can get a little bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Not I mean not not crazy uncomfortable yeah. but somewhat uncomfortable. Um, but every other day, you have a great view and it's very comfortable. Yeah, I lived in Reed and the air was set up just like that and I never really had any problems with it. But I am from Fayetteville, so I'm used to how weird the weather can get around here. Well, usually we for, wait for about a week straight of either very cold weather or very warm weather to do the full switch over. Mm -hmm. So we're not making that switch on the system uh, just for every other day where it might be 90 degrees and then drop back down to 30. Because who knows what the weather's going to be. <laughs> and it does take days to get the system resting turn it and bring it up to the other thing so it's not a simple process and we do that to avoid flooding your rooms um, with all the condensation build up or other pipe issues like mm -hmm. that so we also had a question about how um, this residence hall operates on holidays and if it's open during intercessions so we are an academic year building um so we will kind of shut down towards those sessions um, but we have a whole we have a very easy process for students who need to stay over winter break for different intercessions to make sure that you do have housing so you never need to worry about being out of housing. We'll make sure that you always have a place to stay. That's awesome. Shall we head into the yeah, other room? Yeah, let's do it. Because this is not a typical room. Right. right Hello. And Yoakum got a redesign or a lot of upgrades about two years ago. And it went from being kind of an older building when it comes to the light. It's actually been a very well lit building and uh, it has a real fresh feel to it. I like it, I like that the views are good from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on the 10th floor especially. Yeah. So here's another bathroom. Okay. And then we're gonna go in to 19. So this is what most of the rooms will look like with um, the built-in furniture. Except the beds are movable. But, yeah. And you can lock the bed if you choose to do so, so you'll have room for storage underneath. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Any measurement questions? Yeah, we had some at the beginning. Um, we, uh, Michelle wants to know the width of space under the desk and the height from the floor to the bottom of the desk. So the first one. So the width of the space underneath the desk. Okay. So the yeah, I think that would do it. Look and see. There we go. So it is two feet, two inches, and then I'll go ahead and do. Yeah. This. That is two feet three inches. Okay. Up and down. Okay, nice. Um, Nicole wants to know the ledge by the window to the top of the window. She wants to know the height. You should have seen us last year when we were trying to do that with analog tape measures. Yeah. We were all fancy yeah. with our digital tape measure. Yes, this thing is such a lifesaver. This is four feet, 11 inches, way easier. Mm -hmm. So that's from the ledge to the ceiling? Yes, okay. ledge to ceiling, four feet, 11 inches. Awesome. And Nicole was also wondering um, how tall the shelves are over the closet. Okay, the middle one is going to be eight inches, and then this is going to be one foot eight inches, the top one. Awesome. There is a lift there that's about two inches maybe. Yes, and then from the bottom to the top, if you're getting curtains, it's going to be seven feet six inches up and down and then three feet ten inches across so if you get a tension rod this is three feet ten inches a lot of people will go buy a tension rod and then put a curtain in front of their closet nice 
Um, let's see. Jennifer um, wants to know the measurement from the outside post um, of the headboard. I think she's wanting the width of the headboard. Okay. Um, I actually might, well, no, I can do this. Sure. Okay, huh? Yeah, from the outside to the outside. outside. It creates a plane, so if you want to... Yeah. 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 There we go. <laughs> That's three feet two inches from the outside of post to outside of post. Three feet two inches. She also wants to know the space um, from the post to the closet. Okay. So I... Am I um, Yeah. So from the post to this right here, like the outside of the closet is mm -hmm. two feet two inches. Awesome. Um, Micah wants to know the measurement um, from the vanity to the desk for a rug. Okay. So from vanity to desk, it is seven feet seven inches, and then I'll get from bed post to bed post yeah, so you have. That's going to be another seven feet, seven inches. Oh, wow. Perfect. Perfect square. Yeah. Um, Becky was wondering if the rooms come with desk chairs. Yes, they do. Yeah. Can you show them the, the handy dandy? Yeah, so they have this little trick that nobody seems to know about <laughs> where they turn into these gamer chairs and then it's like a little table when it rocks. That's awesome. So you can always do that. If you need more seating, that would that could come in handy. Yeah. Yeah. Have someone over. And I think this is one of those halls where a lot of people have their doors open too. We're very much that type of community where everyone just gets to know everybody on their floor, mm -hmm. especially with the community bathrooms. You get to know everybody. <laughs> yeah. Brush your teeth next to the thing. Any any tips when it comes to community bathrooms, or have you already you talked just, about? It's not the best way to deal with it. You just get used to it. Yeah. It's just the new norm. After a week of being in here, you just regular and then you'll figure out that people have kind of the same schedule as you so you'll be brushing your teeth next to the same before every morning and then <laughs> that's how you make friends oh yeah we also have a wonderful cleaning staff that's going to be cleaning all of your bathrooms on a regular basis say hi to them get to know them they're wonderful people um mm -hmm. and just take care of the bathroom too make their life a little bit easier yeah. michael was wondering the length and the height of um the space above the top shelf of the desk Space above the top so shelf. So I'm assuming she means this yeah. top shelf. Maybe. So maybe that little measurement to the top of the wood. Well, each shelf is going to be three feet four inches wide. The top shelf is going to be that as well. Yeah. That's and then five right there. The very top five. And feet. then can you do top to roof? Drop it. Top to. Oh yes. Top of the shelf to ceiling is exactly two feet. And just in case you wanted to get storage for right here, it's 10 inches. Awesome. Becky wants to know how many outlets are in the rooms. So there's one on each desk. There is one under the mirror on the vanity. And then there's one also one. one on the window sill. Which each one has two. Yeah. And then right we're, we're, we're very comfortable with using power strips. Just don't plug in power strips and other power strips. You have lights under your desk as well. Nicole was wondering, uh, what do people usually use to hang things on the walls? Um, command strips. Yeah. That's what I use. That's what so we I recommend. Yeah. Uh, duct tape has a chance to rip off the paint off the wall, which unfortunately you will be charged for. So blue paint or tape or command strips. Mm -hmm. And command strips work perfect as long as you use them exactly as they're intended. Right. Uh, don't get impatient try to just pull them off because they will do damage and you'll, you'll be charged for it unfortunately now this one does have those um uh poster board no what they called cork boards cork boards, boards back board. there so some people cover them up some people decorate them mm -hmm. you have yeah. a good read too right yes they're pretty much everywhere and they're built in so you can either decorate it or cover it up if you want to some people's headboards cover them so just whatever you prefer what did so you do? Take it out of the wall. What did you do with yours? Did you do? I anything? had a really tall headboard. Actually, my bed was lofted, so it's not as tall as I think it is in my mind. But <laughs> um, it was my bed was actually set up just like this, so it was on the top notch from this type of of um, bed frame. And my headboard, I just kind of sat it in between mattress and 
the one that's built in, and it covers it up so you couldn't see it at all. But and the way these are lofted, um, you can flip the frame there and go much higher with it yes. uh, than it is currently. And you have until the end of the month, which is what, today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> to go to housing.uart.edu forward slash fix it and turn in a request. Yes. And if a light bulb goes out or anything breaks, you would go to that same website and just let them know and help them fix it for you. Derek wants to know what size the beds are. So, I need a hand. <laughs> Literally need a hand. Literally. <laughs> Door side difference. Mm -hmm. Door side difference. Usually, when there is a door side difference, it's this one's 75 inches yes. long and that one's 80 inches long. Awesome. So, they're going to be a twin or a twin XL. Um, yes. mm -hmm. Either way will work at the store. And as far as who gets which bed, we leave that up to the roommates when you get here. That's a, a fun first discussion. Yeah. Um, a lot of people ask about um, like A and B sizes of the rooms, but it's not an actual assigned thing. You just pick between the two of you, mm -hmm. discuss it, and once you claim a size, that's your size for the rest of the year, just in case. That way, if there's any damages done, um, it'll be for, you won't be accused of yeah. your roommate. Yeah. Your roommate's <laughs> stuff won't translate to your personal right. space. Yeah. You're also gonna be completing a room inventory form on your first day here as part of your check-in process um, before you get your ID and anything like that. So you'll be going through that room and pointing out anything that's wrong right ahead so we can kind of have a record of what was uh, not fully fixed before we all moved in. Yeah. You can report, for example, that there was some damage someplace, and that'll be that'll carry th forward with you till the end of the year, and people will know when you check out. Okay, it's like renting a car. Yeah. Some type of thing. Super easy. Stephanie asked if the outlets are two or three pronged. They are. all be three pronged. Mm -hmm. Three pronged. You can see. Um, Jennifer also she would like to know the space between the headboard post to the shelf that tiny space right there she's okay. making a, a custom headboard do you need the analog tape measure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. still has its purposes every now and then three and a four inches right there exactly yeah. so to be safe I would say three inches three inches um, we have someone wanting to know if all the rooms have cork boards. I yes. believe that's true. Every room has that yeah. in most residence halls, if not all of them. Derek asked about the measurements of the cabinets above the mirror. Okay. Yep, well, it's going to be just as wide as this, yeah. which is 5 feet 10 inches wide. And then one foot four inches. Nice. Up and down. Um, Alana. And up and up, by the way. I'm yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alana, um, she asked if you have a single dorm, is there any possibility of getting a roommate, anyways? Um, there's always a chance that due to changes in population or something like that, um, there could be a sudden move to your room, but um, we're not foreseeing any uh, changes like that this year with our current population. And she also asked if she'll still have two beds or just the one bed. Um, most likely, you'll be in a two-bedroom uh, with two sets, just in case of that purpose. Um, if you are in one of our designated single spaces, you'll most likely only have one spot. Um, again, it just goes based on population changes and fluctuations. Awesome. Um, I think that's all the questions we have right now. That's really great questions. Yeah. So super good questions. Yeah, feel free um, to go back and comment afterwards if you can think of any more questions. and. I will go through and try to answer all of those for you guys. It is literally Courtney and Channing who are going through and answering all these questions. <laughs> Even after we've answered them by voice, they go back and answer them by text. But it takes time for us to get through all of them, so be patient. Yeah, we're yes. doing all the, all the Facebook Live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but um, just let us know, and I'll be sure to go through and read all of those. Um, is there any advice you want to give? Get ready to live with somebody. Um, that's the best advice I can give. Um, I've worked in the higher education in this field for three years now, and 90% of our roommate conflicts are going to be because you're just not used to living with somebody. Um, it takes compromise to live with one another, and 
just have that really good clear line of communication. I, I really ask you not to use sticky notes um, as a form of communication. <laughs> um, but just communicate with one another. Um, if you've never lived with someone before, it is an adjustment. So just be ready to get used to that. And then use your RAs and use your housing staff. They're all here to help. They're all wonderful. I'm very excited for them to come back on the campus next week. Um, they're going to go through about a week-long training. Um, they're going to be super ready to help you. And then we're always here for you. Uh, Ari's here for you. I'm here for you. So whatever you need, reach out. Awesome. It's, it's really fun. Just be very open-minded. You'll meet a lot of new people. And it goes by really fast, so soak it in while you can. But um, I'm glad that I could show you guys around today. And thank you for tuning in. Have a good day.